Hi, Brandy Fugate here, your Tulsa, Oklahoma real estate expert here with your monthly market update. All right, let's dig right in. No huge news this month as far as statistics go. January 2023, we had 698 sales, which is down 38%. We were down 38% last month as well. We had 1,122 pending sales, which was down 15% from a year ago, uh, but we were down 31% last month in December, year over year. So that's actually picked up a little bit. Our new listings, we took 1,198 listings, which is down about 12%. We were down 17% last month. So that's not bad. Median list price, pretty much the only things that are up in our market is our list price, our sales price, and our days on the market. So our list price has increased to $239,770, and our sales price has increased to $235,625. So those are up about 65 or 5%. One thing I want you to pay attention to, though, is the median list price at $239,7 versus the sales price at $235,7. That's actually the first time in quite some time that our median sales price is lower than our median list price. So what that tells us is, again, that the market is starting to slow down and that the sellers are having to budge a little bit off of their asking price. Now, it's not a lot, so don't get too excited. On average, the sellers are still getting 98.97% of their asking price. So that's, they're, they're making on average a 1% concession. So it's not huge. Median days on market are at 20 days, which is up 150% from last January. We were at 16 days in December. So we are sitting on the market for another four additional days on median this month. Our month's supply of inventory is at 2,291 homes for sale, which is down 26%, roughly what it was in December. And then our month supply of inventory is at 1.85%, which was also roughly what it was in December. So all in all, what do these numbers tell us? That it's still very much a seller's market. By definition, if you have less than six months of inventory, then technically you're in a seller's market. However, our supply of inventory is starting to tick up. So if you can see, let me make sure I'm sharing the right screen here. Here we go. If you could see my screen, our month's supply of inventory right here, we're at 1.85. And we're as we're going back in time, there's December, there's November, so on and so forth. Uh, we have increased a bit from the craziness of last year, right? Where there was just hardly any homes for sale. Look here in the month of March, 2022, there was less than one month supply of inventory. And we're more than double that now. We're not way back here as we were back in 2021 when we had three months of supply of inventory. Um, but we are we are seeing that number tick up a bit. What that tells us is that the market is ever so slightly correcting and starting to balance. We're still not really a balanced market, but we are headed in that direction, which is great news if you're a buyer. Uh, and it's still a great time to be a seller. Now, keep in mind that these statistics are based on median numbers for our entire database. So that's going to be SkyTook all the way down to Haskell. What your property would sell for is based on, of course, a number of unique factors. So reach out to us for a complimentary market analysis if you would like to see what your home would sell for. All right, let's take a look at our current market inventory. We have 1,655 homes currently for sale as of today, February the 21st. And again, our median sales price is about 235. So looking at that, we have about 221 homes for sale under 200,000. And then under 250, we have 116 homes for sale. And you can see where it goes up from there. If you didn't catch my video last month, 2023 loan limits were announced. Conventional VA, USDA rural development uh, all came in with a maximum of $726,200. FHA is at $472,000 and HUD-184, which is the Native American loan, is at $420,000. Again, it's a great time to be a seller. It's still a great time to be a buyer. We are seeing interest rates tick down a bit, which is helping our buyers. And if you have any questions at all, reach out to my team. We're happy to help.
Have a good one.